hello guys welcome to another exclusive content on my channel i'm glad you click on this video just as a thumbnail indicates it's just all about free schools in us over 100 plus schools in us yes that is true but before we get right into it if you are a new viewer i will plead that you join this family to make your study abroad journey easier and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for being with me all this while i'm i mean i appreciate you guys and i appreciate the new ones as well thank you all and let's do this together energy 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 so let's just get right into what the thumbnail says energy all right thank you so much for waiting and i'm sure you might be wondering if this is true um if kingsford is really um here to provide us with over 100 schools in the united states of america that are waiving the application fees and saving you bucks i mean chance of i mean you know huge sums of money just to apply for these schools for free and also not i mean some are not requiring i mean reference letters some are not requiring majority are not requiring any test score or making it optional for you not pre uh, present any sat act gre and what have you yes it is true but before i get right into my lab to demonstrate and to re retrieve this list for you okay to let you know how to retrieve these schools um, i would want to lay down some rules Okay, I would want to lay down some checklists that you would want to consider when you are reviewing these schools. Because I'm not, I will not be able to review all these 100 plus schools with you. You would have to be able to um, review them and then streamline them to um, suit your profile. Uh, are we good here? Yeah, beautiful. So that's what I'm going to do basically. So yes, they are waiving application fees. They are waiving their reference letters. You know, um, the admission deadline. Some are in July, others are in August, and others too are on rolling admission. Some too do not have any uh, deadline at all or at all. <laughs> yeah. So I have some points here that i would want to just i mean share with you so the first one that i would want to highlight is that when you go when i share with you this i mean website there is a website when i share with this website you're able to retrieve these schools one you would have to first check their international admission requirements please check their international admission requirements not the general admission requirement i will demonstrate here for you to see but you will check the international admission requirements why because you want to know these things um i i get a lot of feedback from applicants i mean complain that they are they, they meet everything the gpa requirement they meet it everything they meet it but the only hurdle has been um uh, they're providing what you call transcript evaluation which is quite expensive and i wouldn't want you to just put, put in the effort then later realize that you would need it or you would need an evaluation so always check if they need it or not before you put in application then also the next thing is to check um in the i mean beneath the main point that i've just mentioned the international admission requirements is what we call um do they require teaching deposit yeah sometimes once you get admission they will need to provide what teaching deposit and that's quite expensive so i would want to cross check some of them require teaching deposit i mean yeah some of them require so i would want you to confirm before if you can afford it then you do it sometimes they'll give you a very good scholarship but they will still need to put i mean prove to them that you are really keen on coming so you pay sometimes it's 200 bucks 300 bucks some go as far as 2000 bucks that is the highest i've seen in us i mean i'm sure some may be even i mean higher than that but that is the to the best of my knowledge so cross check these merit i mean these i mean these points aside the gpa transcript and everything i think these two extensive or external or other criteria that is evaluation and deposit is what you should factor in for reference letters some do not even require any insight or just your transcript um your cv or some few other documents in your the application so that is that the next one is what you call um check if they have what scholarships yeah scholarships don't go and put in application and I'm, I'm, i can guarantee that all of them are having some form of scholarship but check the 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 the, the quantum yeah or the amount of scholarship they are having there to be able to um determine or to ascertain that this will be um you know um be enough to cover for your i mean tuition and also cover for your living expenses should they be considered for these scholarships and also the last one is probably the programs yeah look out for the program that they have there then you can just say that okay let me go on with this school so i'm sure if i mean after reviewing this i mean 100 plus schools 150 plus or so schools with you i'm sure you will be amazed and you'll be able to find out um two three four five ten schools that are um, that suit your profile so um I'm not going to um, break. I mean, the, the the good news. I mean, I'm just releasing them a tit bit, tit by tit bit. So um, don't rush. 
let me get it right behind my laptop and let's move together energy 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 mm. let's get right into the main meat of the video or the meat of the video so um over 150 schools in the United States of America are waiving the application fees. That is if you don't know. They are a lot. But as I, as I just explained in my intro that, I mean, it is not just about application fees, but you need to look out for some of the other parts of the application requirement that comes to the cost. Okay. So um, I mentioned evaluation. I mentioned deposit. Because aside the plane ticket and visa application and stuff, you know, you don't want to, I mean, invest much in the pre-processing since these things are all kind of like, you know, um, um, based on um, chances. So you don't want to spend much. So let's get right into it. So th this is the app. It is called Common App. It is an official website that, is, that has been created for mainly the undergraduate I mean, programs. However, these schools that I'm going to show you uh, are also waiting for some of them are waiting for their grad school as well. So leverage this approach to be able to know the ones for undergrad and the ones for grad as well. So let's get right into it. I'm going to use the metrics and not talk too much. So I've already created my profile, but if you want, if you want to create an account, it is very simple. Your email, your password, usually, you know, your name, your phone number, um, date of birth, then um, the the year you are applying. So you're planning to start college in 2024 or this year, and we are working on this year. There is still hope for this year, so don't be worried if you've been denied. So hope for this year. Yeah, then you create an account, then this will just lead you straight to the common app, um, you know, um, uh, your account. So, you see that welcome came for. So, this, assuming this is my account, and this is my dashboard, my colleges, that is, this will give you the number of colleges you've applied. So, you can apply to the school through this um, common app or through the school's way, sorry, main website. Yeah. So, once we are here now i want to just teach you one thing the rest i think you can navigate them personally um how do we get the schools that are waving the application fees kids for is it a clickbait or you really mean it yes i really mean it so you will just go to um you know we have a total of 133 schools 1033 schools so the schools are a lot they are a lot yeah so i'll go to more filters i will choose the country us yes obviously and then oh, sorry no no zip code yeah no zip code then i will select the four semester i've already explained this in my previous video so i would encourage you to watch my previous video if you're a new subscriber i mean or a new i mean you know uh viewer just do what to watch the other videos to understand how these semesters work then this is the main thing here um deadline so uh we want to work on um 2023 obviously uh, probably uh june intake uh july i don't know let me take june for instance 30th june i'm sure by then you'll be able to download the applications and done with the processing and stuff and some of those schools less than a month two weeks some two weeks three weeks you get admission yeah and then no fee for international students then writing requirements. Do you, re do you do not require the common app personal essay? Do not require additional college specific essays. Um, standardized test policy. That is a professional, I mean, um, standardized test like SAT, GRE, GMAT, and stuff. Sometimes required, never required, flexible, ignored. Then letter of recommendation, not required as well. Yeah. Then let's show the results. So we are having now one. 168 colleges out of the 1033 that are waiving the application fees so i'm not i won't be able to review all these schools but based on the metrics i said in my intro i'm going to use them to go through i think three of these colleges for you to be able to do the navigation personally yeah so um let me select albright college for the start so albright college is here so it is located in um, pennsylvania that is written pennsylvania and this link will lead to your official website the admission um, office virtual tour and college navigator when is the deadline the deadline is in august 26th and i mean as an international student you would want to start early so that you can work on your visa so please once you're done with this video start to put your document together to put in some application to some of these schools um zero application fee required first year international student and also domestic student as well yeah and then cost or grades not used um save forms after matriculation or no, these are not important then writing supplement so this college does not use a writing supplement supplement for any additional writing requirements yeah that is that let's get right to their main website so this is all right college that is a very beautiful college as well we have others at universities um let me just scan through them yeah so they are lots 
we have Cleveland State, I mean, University in Ohio waiving the application fee as well. And Concordia University, Wisconsin, Converse University in Spartanburg, um, South Carolina. Let me get back to back and forth, yeah, <laughs> to Albright College, yeah. So, this Albright College in PA, that is Pennsylvania, yeah. Uh, so, once you come to their website, you are going to go straight to the admissions, okay. As internationals, you are going to go to the international student tab, not the domestic student tab. So, you are an international student, so we want to discover what um you know they need for international student what are the requirements for international student that is what we are here what for right that's what we are here for so let me just get right to the international student tab what they are looking out for first year international students so what are the application requirements so the new academic transcript so um uh, please submit an original secondary school transcript and, of, and a copy of a transcript with, with uh, i mean an official school seal or a notarized uh, copy of the transcript and up to date should include the past four years so this is for the undergrad so you can check for the grad as well letters of recommendation in essay see they are not required but strongly what encouraged so these are what they're going to look for and people normally are confused about this yes if you're coming from a i mean a francophone country you would need an english test but from i mean a, an anglophone or an english-speaking country i think you can always get a waiver um they will get it waived for you so this is for um albright college so that is mainly that the next thing that you would want to check is do they have scholarships so let's check um you can check it on your scholarship tab their financial aid um tab that is um where is it financial aid tab but i've already opened it i think it's already captured this so i don't i don't have to go back so this is your tuition fee approximate here and also um the um so let me check their frequently asked questions here as well tell me i mean these are questions they've been asking when are the deadlines for application so the student applying for the first semester should apply not late than July 1st. So put in application, tuition fees 40k, and also um, um our late application accepted. Yes, and assessment circumstances. The last one here we have that I would want to capture is tell me more about available scholarships for international students. That is from 8,000 to what 19,000k. And when you come to you can work on campus to augment for the deficit. So don't be worried about the deficit right now. Once you get that mission, you get your visa, you are good to go. Now let's check some other metrics. So this is the first one, admission. So as I said, you're going to check the international student admission requirements, not domestic student admission requirements. Now let me check the other school for you. Another school is what you call Cadwell University. Cadwell University. So let's check Cadwell University. So it's the same thing. For them, you're going to write an essay ranging between 250 to 650 words um, covering these, uh, these um, themes. Um, two letters of recommendation. Yes. Then listen. Final secondary school transcript evaluated by a nurses member agency. So this is where the issue comes in. They are going to do an evaluation, and it comes with a cost around two hundred and five dollars or so. By the same way, you should you should spend approximately two hundred and fifty dollars, and that is expensive. So please always confirm if you can afford it. Hooray! If you can't afford it, bro, don't do it. Don't do it. Go to schools that don't wave that are waving it. Graduate school as well, so they also waive it and they also need it for graduate school as well. So please, don't 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 um spend much time on these schools. Move to the ones that are not waving them, uh, so that are waving them. But if you've already done the evaluation, then that is a plus for you. Some of these schools are less competitive because it is expensive to do the evaluation. Yeah, let me go to the last school. The last school is La Roche um, University. That is La Roche University. And also have scholarship up to 17,000 USD. This is not my main thing here. For La Roche too, you realize that they say that a deposit of 2,000 USD is required once a student receives their visa. So, um, again, I just, I'm just trying to get through the metrics with, with you. You already know how everything is done. If you're new, I mean, subscribe, please, I will treat. Go back to watch previous videos to understand whatever that is happening here. So, for... As I said, check these metrics, um, um, transcripts, evaluation, um, deposits and stuff. Some, some even require them before you can, I mean, after that mission, they need, they need it before they can get your IH money. So please, don't waste your time on these schools. Let me put that way, um, if I sound too harsh. Yeah, or don't spend too much if you can't pay it. Let me put it that way. Yeah, and that is the best way to put it. Yeah, so um, that is that. Don't rush. Take your time. Let me sign off and give you some tips before we go. Tada! Energy, energy, energy.
all right guys so that is that so we are having almost 160 plus colleges in the us that are waiving the application fees that is if you didn't know so um based on these metrics i mean that i've outlined um the admission requirement transcript evaluation is it required tuition deposit is it required bank statement is it required upfront check all these things and then streamline them to suit your profile and check the ones that have your program available please and then put these applications drop your questions in the comment section and Bro, sister, I'll be glad to respond to you. Thank you for stopping by. My name is Hensford Oyina Tada. Energy, energy, energy. Peace out.